Partisan bill in the state house aims to cut down Indiana puppy mills while helping overcrowded shelters in the process. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan explains how this will work. Everyone wants to be heard. Louie wants to be seen, wants to be noticed, especially <laughs> dogs without a home. Intakes are going up every year. I know ours did. The Hamilton County Humane Society typically takes in 3,000 dogs a year. This past year, 2021, we took in 4,000. Metallica here, she gets it. Just look at those eyes. The opportunity to find other ways to get these animals adopted and find them homes would be a huge win for us and for those animals. Enter House Bill 1160, a bipartisan effort to curb puppy mills and aid shelters at the same time. With this bill, it would just restrict what types of animals they could sell in a retail establishment. State Rep Chris Campbell authored the bill. We have always gotten our animals from the Humane Society except for once. While Rep Tom Saunders. I have two Labradoodles. Co-authored it. About 60 pounds a piece. The legislature will bar pet stores from selling dogs or cats unless they come from shelters or rescues. I believe that Indiana has among the highest, if not the highest, state with the most puppy mills. You know, are we going to put the puppy mills out of business or private breeders? No. But I think once again, we were showing, shining a light on the issues. They're just, you know, turning out as many puppies as they can. Um, and when that happens, quality of care tends to go down. Meanwhile, being sold at a pet store <laughs> may give these dogs a better chance to find a home than in a shelter. So it's a different environment that could help their personalities kind of shine through. The Hamilton County Humane Society already has some of their animals in PetSmart and Petco. And a lot of times those cats get adopted faster there. In Hamilton County, I'm Mike Sullivan, <laughs> CBS 4 News. Oh, Mike, thank you. Representative Saunders says the bill has yet to reach a committee. Representative Campbell urges Hoosiers to contact the Commerce Committee to push them to hear that bill.